Thoughts on Linguistic States by Baba Sahib Ambedkar Part 3 Solution Chapter 6 The Division of the North The problem having been realized, we must now search for a solution. The solution lies obviously in adopting some standard for determining the size of a state. It is not easy to fix such a standard. If two crores of population be adopted as a standard measure, most of the southern states will become mixed states. The enlargement of the southern states to meet the menace of the northern states is therefore impossible. The only remedy is to break up the northern states of UP, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. How did this solution not strike the Congress Working Committee, I am unable to understand. It is so obvious. Division of the Northern States As I have already said, the Commission is designing linguistic states has created a consolidation of the North and balkanization of the South. The Commission has not, I am sure, done this intentionally. But intentionally or unintentionally, the fact is there. Its evil consequences are also clear. It is therefore necessary that this situation must be rectified. The only way to do this is to divide the three states of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh into smaller units. In this behalf, I make bold to offer some tentative proposals. This division does not conflict with the underlying principles of a linguistic state. For if these states are divided in the way suggested, each resulting state will be a linguistic state. I am happy to find Mr. Pant saying in the recent debate in Parliament on the subject that he has no objection to the cutting off of the UP. What he said for Uttar Pradesh may well be taken as applicable to Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. Division of Uttar Pradesh My proposal with regard to the Uttar Pradesh is to divide it into three states. See map 2. Each of the three states should have a population of approximately 2 crores which should be regarded as the standard size of population for a state to administer effectively. Where the boundary lines of these three states should be drawn, I have shown in the accompanying map. The three states of the Uttar Pradesh could have as their capitals Meerut, Kanpur and Allahabad. They are situated quite in the center of each of these three states. Division of Bihar my proposal with regard to Bihar is to divide it into two states. Each of these two states will have a population of a little over one and a half crores. It is not a small population for one good government to administer. Where the boundary lines lie have been shown in the accompanying map. The two states of Bihar could have as their capitals Patna and Ranchi. They are situated quite in the center of the two states. Division of Madhya Pradesh Madhya Pradesh stands before us in two forms, the old Madhya Pradesh and the new Madhya Pradesh. The old Madhya Pradesh consists of the province at one time known as CP and Birar, and some Indian states out of the states known as the eastern states. This old state of Madhya Pradesh had a population of 2.5 crores. It constituted 22 districts. Its legislature had 223 members. The new Madhya Pradesh, as planned by the Commission, will consist of the 14 districts of the old Madhya Pradesh, the whole of Bhopal, the whole of Vindhya Pradesh, Madhya Bharat except Sunil enclave of Mandasore district, and the Sinon subdivision of Kolar district of Rajasthan. The total population of this new Madhya Pradesh will be 26.1 million and its area will be 171,200 square miles. I suggest that it should be divided into two states, Northern Madhya Pradesh and Southern Madhya Pradesh. The state of New Madhya Pradesh should consist of the following areas, the whole of Vindhya Pradesh and the whole state of Bhopal. The Southern Madhya Pradesh should consist of the whole state of Indore and the 14 districts of Mahakusal. The population of this Indore state will be about 2 crores and the population of this Vindhya Pradesh will be about 1.3 crores. Why the Commission created this monster state, it is no way to know. Even Prime Minister Nehru was surprised at its creation. All that one can think of is that the Commission has been under the impression that one language, one state, is a categorical imperative from which, from which there is no escape. As I have shown, one language, one state can never be categorically imperative. In fact, one state, one language should be the rule, and therefore, People forming one language can divide themselves into many states. The end.